Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this video, we are going to solve application 2 on RL series circuit. Application 2. Determination of the inductance of a coil. In order to determine the inductance L of a coil of negligible resistance, we connect this coil in series with a resistor of resistance R equal 10 ohm across a low frequency generator as shown in figure 1. The generator G delivers an alternating sinusoidal voltage Vg equal Vm cosine omega t where Vg in volt and t in second. Figure 2 represent the oscillograms of the voltage Ug across the generator and Ur the voltage across the resistor where the time base, the horizontal sensitivity is equal to 5 millisecond per division and SV, the vertical sensitivity, is equal to 1 volt per division. 1. Redraw the diagram of figure 1 showing the connections of the channel of an oscilloscope that allow us to display the voltages UG across the generator and UR across the resistor. The following figure represent the channels of the oscilloscope where channel 1 is connected at point A and channel 2 at point B and the ground is connected at point C. So Y1 measures the voltage UAC across the generator and Y2 measures the voltage UBC across the resistor. In figure 2, the oscillogram waveform 1 displays the variation of the voltage UG as a function of time. Justify specifying which of the oscillograms 1 or 2 leads the other, then determine the phase difference between the two oscillograms. According to the figure, UG reaches the maximum before UR, and UG represents waveform 1. So, 1 leads to, and according to the formula, the absolute value of the phase difference is equal to 2 pi d over x. d is equal to 0 0.6 using the figure, and x is equal to 5. Then, the value of the phase difference is equal to 0 0.24 pi, which is equal to 0 0.75 radian. 3. Determine using the oscillograms the angular frequency omega, the maximum value um of the voltage across the terminals of G, and the amplitude im of the current carried by the circuit. According to the formula of omega, omega is equal to 2 pi over t the period. Then we are going first to find the value of the period t, and then finding the value of omega. T is equal to SH, the horizontal sensitivity multiplied by X, the number of divisions during one cycle, which is equal to 5, and SH is equal to 5. So, 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25 millisecond, which is equal to 25 times 10 to the power minus 3 seconds. Omega equal 2 pi over t, which is equal to 2 pi over 25 times 10 to the power minus 3. So the value of omega is equal to 80 pi. That's mean omega is equal to 251 radian per second. Um of the generator using waveform 1 is equal to SV times y. Y of the waveform 1 is equal to... 4. So, um is equal to 4 multiplied by 1, the vertical sensitivity of the oscilloscope, then um is equal to 4 volt. To find the value of i, we are going first to find the value of the voltage across the resistor, since according to Ohm's law, ur equal ri. Then, using the oscillogram, the waveform 2, UMR, the maximum value of the voltage across the resistor is equal to SV multiplied by Y, where Y is equal to 2.8 and SV equal 1. So, the maximum value of the voltage across the resistor is equal to 2.8 volt. 
then u r m equal i m r we can find the value of i m which is equal to u r m over r equal to 0.8 over 10 which is equal to 0 0.28 ampere represent the maximum value of the electric current four Knowing that the expression of the voltage of the generator is UG equal UM cosine omega T, write as a function of time the expression of the current I and that of the voltage UL across the coil. As we know, UG leads I by phi. Then the expression of I becomes equal to IM cosine omega t minus phi since the current and the voltage in the circuit have the same value of the angular frequency so ig is equal to 0 0.28 the amplitude of i multiplied by cosine 80 pi t minus 0 0.75 since ug leads i so i lags behind ug and the expression of ug is of phase different of phase equal to zero so the phase difference of i with respect to ug is minus 0 0.75 radian and according to Ohm's law, the voltage across the coil is equal to Ri plus LDI over DT. But here the coil is purely inductive. So the internal resistance of the coil R is equal to zero. And the voltage across the coil becomes equal to LDI over DT. So the derivative of I with respect to T is equal to minus 0 0.28 multiplied by 80 pi multiplied by sine 80 pi T minus 0 0.75 then the voltage UL is equal to L multiplied by minus 0 0.28 multiplied by 80 pi sine 80 pi T minus 0 0.75 which represent the voltage across the coil. 5. Determine the value of L by applying the law of addition of voltages and giving T a particular value. According to the law of addition of voltage, UAC is equal to UAB plus UBC, where UAC is UG, UAB UL, and UBC is UR. The expression of UG is equal to 4 cosine 80 pi t and that of ul is equal to minus 70.3 l pi sine 80 pi t minus 0 0.75 and the expression of ur is equal to ri which is equal to 2.8 cosine 80 pi minus 0 0.75 then according to the law of addition we are going to have the following equation 4 cosine 80 pi t which represent the voltage across the generator equal to minus 70.3 l pi sine 80 pi t minus 0 0.75 plus 2.8 cosine 80 pi minus 0 0.75 taking 0 as a particular value for t we are going to have the following equation 4 cosine 80 pi 0 equal minus 70.3 L pi sine 80 pi 0 minus 0 0.75 plus 2.8 cosine 80 pi 0 minus 0 0.75 and by calculation the equation becomes equal to 4 equal minus 70.3 L pi sine minus 0 0.75 plus 2.8 cosine minus 0 0.75 and by calculation we are going to find that the value of L is equal to 0 0.041 Henry which is equal to 41 milli Henry this is the end of the application study well and thank you for your attention